Hey folks, we are answering frequently asked questions from the Okta Customer Identity Cloud community, and today we are going to discuss troubleshooting issues related to, you may have pressed the back button, let's get started. This error is often caused by certain user behaviors that interrupt the session created during the login flow. Take for example, if a user bookmarks the login page, when an application initiates the login process, it navigates to your domain slash authorize with a set of required parameters. Auth0 then redirects end users to your domain slash login page with a URL that looks like your domain slash login along with a state query parameter. This state parameter points to a record in an internal database where Auth0 keeps track of the status of an authorization transaction. This record is deleted from the internal database when the transaction completes or after one hour when the login transaction expires. You will likely want to make it so users do not see this error page at all. Let's take a look at how to accomplish this. This error page can be avoided in most cases by implementing a default login route. The default login route is a URL that is intended to essentially restart the login flow from the beginning. This default login route should point to a route in your application that ends up redirecting to Auth0's authorize endpoint. The default login route can be configured either at the application level or at the tenant level. If an application does not have a default login route configured, the tenant level one will be used instead. To configure a default login route for an application, go to the dashboard and to applications and applications again. Open your application, and on the settings page, scroll down to the field that says Application Login URI and enter your login route. Currently, only the HTTPS scheme is supported, and it cannot point to a local host, though it can include query parameters and a URI fragment. If you have a native application and your login route uses a scheme other than HTTPS, the recommended workaround is to set the application login URI to an HTTPS page, which in turn issues a redirect to the native application via the custom scheme, which would handle the invocation on its own and launch the universal login page. This intermediate HTTPS page would need to be hosted by your application. To set a default login route at the tenant level, go to the dashboard, then to the settings, and over to the advanced settings tab. In the Login and Logout section, you will see the field for the Tenant Login URI. To test that this is now working, we can go to a bookmarked login page and see that the error page no longer appears and a redirect back to our application login URI has occurred. Today, we looked at troubleshooting issues related to You May Have Pressed the Back button. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to us on YouTube and join us for more content on community.auth0.com.